Within broken nature, I think uh, Aura Streams is reflecting the need of design not only to um, give shape to things on a more traditional level, but it is also about using design as a tool to repair things that are broken in general. So the relationship we have with nature uh, is in a way broken, but it is also the relationship we have with things that is broken. And in this sense, Aura Stream is trying to do that, to find ways to apply design to repair what is actually broken instead of breaking what works or adding a new product which is not really necessary. In this specific case, Aura Stream is focusing on electronic waste and the complex relationship there is between, uh, for instance, the obsolescence of a product, its recycling uh, or its repair. So in this sense, we are trying to use design as a tool to heal a relationship which has been broken. The curatorial team of the Triennale asked us to uh, actually continue one of the work we uh, started last year for the National Gallery of Victoria. And I think that was quite an interesting uh, thing to do because uh, in a way, it's very difficult for a designer to uh, uh, do a research project. Uh, and of course, if the institution do not allow to do this, nobody could do that. So um, Paola Antonelli and the curatorial team asked us to kind of continue uh, with our stream for the Triennale, adding another chapter that could uh, enrich uh, the project. And, and that's what we did for the uh, Triennale. You know, when you think about electronic waste, there's a lot of possibilities given by uh, the digital tools we use daily. Nevertheless, uh, design often do not look into uh, how materials are sourced, where they come from, and the processes uh, that create an object, but also the afterlife of an object. So with Oristin, we're actually trying to investigate that, to really start from actually where the uh, minerals are coming from to produce these objects, but also to understand how those minerals are recuperated with a process of recycling. And when you think about recycling, of course, uh, everybody thinks it's an amazing uh, opportunity to recuperate materials. Uh, nevertheless, uh, some of these processes are also uh, very often uncharted. I think that when we think about industrial design, uh, we all the time think about which new products can a designer add into the world. But I think over time we learn to know that uh, there are consequences of design and production, consequences in the environment, consequences for communities and so on. And in a way design can also be applied in a different way, which is not only more adding new things into the world, but actually repairing what is there or trying to take a responsibility for the consequences of design and production. And in a way with our stream we are uh, trying to think about uh, these kind of issues and which kind of role can design have in this moment in a way in industrial design but not necessarily designing new products but more strategies for the life cycle of a product. So we discovered during our investigation, it was actually that uh, you know the objects that we are using daily, of course they are like improving our life immensely uh, but on the other side, we think that there are a uh, lot of thinking missing into actually how this object could, could have an afterlife. And this is something that we really try to investigate with, uh, with our stream. You know, as designer, we have always been interested in the relationship between design and materials and how materials have an impact in production. But I think with Aura Streams, we really wanted to take a step further, which is really looking more on a pragmatic level 
uh, the complex relationship between the sourcing of material, the transformation into commodities and then into products and to question this complex um, role that design has in making uh, materials in a way products and desirable uh, objects for uh, consumption. So we, we really wanted to look at that from a critical perspective. And of course the sourcing of minerals was our initial starting point because uh, inevitably we know how that has a tremendous impact in the uh, environment. But the research evolved uh, from there, so from the underground mining of minerals to the above ground uh, mining, uh, so basically the urban mining, because you know by the end of the century probably the majority of resources we will use in production will actually come from uh, recycled sources. So from materials that are within products or in building construction and, and so on. And electronic waste is the, the fastest growing stream of waste globally at the moment. And also our work as designers is incredibly affected by digital tools. So in a way it was sort of obvious to start from there uh, to um, investigate what can we do as designers to improve uh, the life of these products. The work is basically uh, divided in two. One part is a collection of objects and the other one is more like a video installation where the research process is displayed. In the objects uh, we are really uh, investigating how recycled materials can be applied in different forms and some of the details in the pieces for instance has been plated in gold where the gold was recycled from uh, circuit boards. We decided to, to pay particular attention to that because actually the driving force behind a lot of the recycling of electronics is still the precious metals containing circuit boards um, and it is also the driving force behind the exportation in developing countries of electronics. Um, that's why basically we, we focus on that. With the animation set we are visualizing a series of strategy that are pragmatically looking at what design can do in order to make the recycling and the repair of electronics much more efficient. And we also added a what we call visual essay, which is much more holistic in its approach, and it's looking at uh, ore streams, uh, both from the underground till the above ground, and really understanding how the transformation of resources has become a more and more complex element in the design discipline, design development. Uh, we are looking at that, of course, from a critical perspective. Um, what we very much care about as designers is also to critically look at the discipline itself uh, because design can uh, of course proactively add and contribute to solutions but also it can become just a tool for the bust of an economy that we don't feel to support. To enable the discussion with the recyclers, we produce a series of videos, they are like the, the taxonomy and the disassembling, that actually was a, a really valuable tool in order to, uh, to talk with them and discuss specific uh, fault or details within uh, within object. For instance, one of the most surprising thing, I think, uh, was when one of the recycler told us that the black rubber cable, which is covering copper electric cables is often uh, very difficult to be recognized by visual detectors and so uh, those elements end up in the wrong stream of waste so even just changing the color could have an impact in the efficiency of the recycling process. I think generally of course designers are in the public perception always called to uh, give form to things but of course things in this moment in the world are not shaped only on a formal level. They are also formed in terms of strategies that are applied in the distribution of things or how they work. So in a way with this project we are sort of shifting our attention not only from, to the formal qualities of things but actually to how design can be applied to differently think an entire process which is the recycling one or the repair one in the case of electronics. I think what is interesting about that is that there is in any case a similar attitude 
when you have to shape uh, a form, inevitably you should also think at the context at large where that form is going to uh, perform. And in this similar case, we are trying to understand how uh, our interventions could have a role in a larger system. Well, in general, I think when we do a project, we try to understand really into the uh, really deeply uh, the meaning of, of, of production. We did it like with Botanica, where, where we uh, actually investigated the period before the invention of plastic and coming from petrol. And I think we did all the same with all streams. So the first things we did when we started an investigation is actually to understand where the metal comes from. And we actually we understood that metal comes from an asteroid, or from various asteroids coming uh, and eating the Earth million of years ago. And I think as a designer, you need to know where things things come from and you know and how they transform in the commodities we are used to uh, every day so for us it's like the basic question we ask every time we design the future of our stream will evolve i guess in different ways for the Triennale, we also built an online platform where all the research we conducted will be published online because we hope that some of the research we did could also be appropriated by others. But this is also very important to uh, use the Zen discipline as more of an open platform uh, for other people which are interested in the topics we are dealing with. And I think also our streams will somehow guide our the future of our practice because more and more when we will have the chance to work with institutions we will try to use these possibilities to explore the issues that we are interested in the most radical issues we are interested in because it is difficult when you are a designer and if you're working with also commercial commissions to find this space this safe space to take some of the more fragile narratives that are within our work and let them blossom and i think the collaborations with the Triennale is allowing this, is allowing us to explore uh, the possibilities but also the problematics of design.